Hello my Beatles friends! Welcome to a new video. Today is gonna be a press review video. It's been a while since the last one, since Revolver. And uh, now I'm back, like I said in my previous video. I want to make more videos and I have more free time. And I just finished listening to my seven copies of Oldies but Goldies. And I would like to um, talk about them. I'm going to show you all my seven copies that I have. I'm going to talk about the differences and all the possibilities and everything. And then I will be talking about the sound. And uh, what's more interesting about this uh, album is that the cover is also very important. So, first of all, let me show you what uh, copies do I have. Uh, British UK first mono. British UK, British UK, uh, first stereo, but it's a variation too, and I will be explaining you what is the differences. Then we have 1966 mono from Yugoslavia. Then we have Israel 1968 on Apple, which is N stereo and mono. Then we have British 71 stereo. It's a first pressing on two EMI boxes. But everything will be in detail in my GoPro mode as usual. Then we have 1973 Japanese pressing. And a big surprise, 1974 from East Germany. Okay, a little background about the album. This album was released in December 66, 10th of this on 10th of December 1966. And since uh, 1966 was the first year uh, that Beatles did not release anything new for the Christmas market. In August they released the Revolver and that's it, they didn't have any album. They decided to put out this compilation. Now, uh, in England, that compilation was released, um, all the songs were previously released, uh, only the song Bad Boy was not previously released. So this uh, compilation not only included the famous hits which were released in Great Britain before, but most of them are singles and concentrated on one album, which is a good thing, like She Loves You and From Me To You and uh, uh, I, I Feel Fine and they, uh, Bad Boy and uh, Paperback Writer and I Wanna Hold Your Hand. All those songs were released on, as, as singles, not on the album. So here all, all of them are concentrated. And also the new song Bad Boy is released here. So this also uh, includes the original song for the British market. Because the song Bad Boy was previously released in America. And uh, what's also interesting about this album is that the cover design was made by David Christian. This drawing was made by David Christian. And the problem is that I never seen David Christian in, uh, in internet. I have no information about this guy. I have no information who he is, how he looks like, what's the picture, what's his other works, how he ended up doing this cover for the Beatles and why Beatles chose that cover. I mean, there is no information about this uh, designer at all. So if any of you have any information about this man, Write me in the comment section below. The back picture is taken by Robert Whittaker. It's in Japan, of course. That is the uh, reason why this picture was mirrored in Japan, because uh, Paul McCartney's kimono writing here is different. So Japanese people can read it and they say, hey, it's mirrored. So. And uh, what's also, what, uh, what else can I say about that album is... Uh, unfortunately, that album was... Uh, kind of deleted from the catalog of the Beatles. On the CD releases of 1987, this album was already missing. Because the Rarities compilation came in late 70s, early 80s, and then in the late 80s we got the Past Masters Volume 1, Volume 2, so this album kind of remained forgotten. But not forgotten for the diehard fans like us. Okay, and this also album had some controversial information about Paul is dead thing, like this 
car is approaching the face. Uh, but, you know, this is they're just rumors about, you know, just to gain attention. Like, Paul McCartney is barefooted and he's dead and all those connections to Paul is dead thing. And this is one of them, but I don't see any connection. Why? But worth mentioning. Now we are switching to the um, GoPro mode. I will show you everything in detail and then after that I'll talk about the sounds. Now we're going to talk about UK <clears throat> mono first pressing. That's how it looks like. like. This is the colorful, glossy, laminated cover with the logo of mono above the picture, above the drawing. That's important. And here it says a collection of Beatles oldies. The big word here, word here is oldies. That's the back. We have uh, flip backs here. Mine is a bit open as you can see. And we have here the track listing, the credits and the catalog number. And what's interesting here is that we see George's face on the right and but Gold is on the left. And that picture actually is not the original as it was photographed. It is a reverse picture. And you can see that by the uh, Japanese lettering on Paul McCartney's kimono. It's mirrored. That's why the Japanese pressing altered that back picture. But I will show it to you later. So that's how the original UK look like, looks like. Let's go to the vinyl. Okay, so this is the standard parlophone. Let me go to the light. Okay. This is a standard parlophone label, as we all know. PMC is sold in UK and the uh, matrixes and the ears of the song releases and here Beatles and Made in Great Britain. And the matrix of this thing is minus one G. So I believe it's a first pressing. So nothing unusual here. And we have here on the back side, on the, on the, on the first side, we have here KT text code embossed. So uh, nothing unusual here. Okay. Stereo copy. Now, in stereo copy, there is one significant difference that we have to notice when we look at the cover. We see the cover here has a stereo pressed on the stars, on the drawing. That is indication that this is the second variation of the cover, because the first variation of the cover has stereo on top of the drawing. And the third variation of the cover doesn't have stereo written at all. Okay? And on the back it's absolutely the same as the mono. The only difference is that the uh, catalog number is different. And what's also interesting to notice that the colors are approximately the same, but this logo here, but gold is, is a little bit brighter than the mono. And let's look at the labels. Labels are also the same. Uh, here we have KT text embossed, we have the same credits, everything is identical, also the uh, catalog number is different. And the matrix number is also minus 1G. Okay. Now, let's go to Yugoslavia. Now, what's unique about Yugoslavian pressing is that if you look at the drum here, it has hits of the Beatles. It doesn't have a collection of Beatles oldies. For the comparison, let's take two drums and see the difference. That's what makes this uh, pressing very unique is because here we have hits of Beatles and here a collection of Beatles oldies. So oldies is missing from the cover. Now the second interesting thing is that it's mono and it has here Yugoton and the catalog number and the two stars which should be here are brushed out. You see that? 
two stars are brushed out. So we see here Mono, Yugoton, catalog number and two stars brushed out. What's also unique about this cover is that it doesn't have flip backs and uh, what's, uh, it, it has the reproduction on the back, the reproduction of the picture because the quality of the picture is very bad. So you can see that it's been reprinted. But it remains here with but goldies. So this is a misprint. If you can, you can see here the hits of Beatles, but goldies. So that's the unique thing about this uh, Yugoslavian cover. Which uh, I, I cannot say that it's rare, but you know, kind of unique. And the vinyl is heavy. And looks pretty much the same as the original UK part of the phone, but with slight differences. The fonts are different and the locations of the writings are different. And here the catalog number is different. We don't have the KT text in both here, of course. The text here is different and it says here by Yugoton in Yugoslavia. So it's on part of the phone in Yugoslavia. Okay. Let's go to the Israeli pressing. Now, Israeli pressing is also laminated. It has here a collection of Beatles oldies, but it's the only one that has here stereo and mono. And this cover here is damaged. It was bought like that by my brother, actually. And the picture here is smaller and black and white. Should be color, but it's in black and white. Not one of the best covers, the Israeli one. Here we have catalog number, stereo and mono. And here we have the song listing and everything is, the, is just copied. And here we, do, we don't have made in UK or anything because uh, in Israel they didn't write where it was made. But it's a flip back cover and the first front cover is laminated. And here we have the typical Israeli triangle, if you can see it. The Israeli triangle. The Israelis uh, is covers always have this kind of triangle. Okay, let's go to the label. This is the reissue, by the way. This is not the first Israeli pressing. This is a reissue. So it's on uh, Apple from 1968, and it's a standard Apple. Here we have stereo and mono catalog number, PCS, all four years of all the songs that were released, and here is the song listing. And the matrix number is also minus one G. So nothing new about it. Then we go to. UK 71 UK 71 it has stereo on top just like I said the first copy but this is not the first copy because it's a reproduction of 1971 and this is the first pressing on a double EMI boxed uh, black and silver parlor phone okay so on the back everything is standard but it doesn't have flip backs and the picture is a bit brighter and less colorful. Okay, so nothing unique about it. And the front cover is a bit brighter. Okay. Two more left. Now we have Japanese. The Japanese is very interesting because... First of all, it has a couple of things inside. First of all, it has this OBI. And this is a reproduction of the OBI, I mean, not the reproduction, the reissue of the OBI, because it was on Toshiba EMI, and before 73, the name of the company was different. Then we have this inner insert, inner booklet, with a Japanese text here, then we have the song lyrics, the titles are in Japanese, and we have here... Uh, bad quality picture, black and white picture. About the cover I'm gonna talk later because it's very interesting cover, but now let's talk about the label. Also standard Apple label on stereo and the catalog number, song listing and side here and the name. I mean nothing nothing new here and we see here that it's Toshiba EMI so which means that it's the later pressing of 73. Now this is the heavy cardboard 
pressing. Here we do have the catalog number. Here we have a collection of Beatles oldies. Everything is standard. The cover is very sharp and very nice colors. Very beautiful cover. But what's interesting here, that we actually see the original picture as it should have been. George's face is not here, it's on the right. And it, oh, but Goldie's logo is on the, on the right, and sorry, George's face is on the left. So it was mirrored back, but this logo was kept as the original. So let's, let's take the other picture and just compare. Here we have, this is the original, and this is the uh, reproduction. So as you can see, this picture has been mirrored, and the, but Goldie's logo is kept original. Now, if we look at the Japanese one, we can see that the lettering on Paul McCartney's kimono here is being corrected. So this is the picture how it was shot. And why it was mirrored on the uh, British pressing, nobody knows. Okay, so here we have Apple logo, here we have some text in Japanese, and here we have the catalog number. Okay, so this is already a uh, second unique cover uh, after Yugoslavian. The third unique cover that I want to talk about is German Amiga. It's a very uh, bad quality printing, it's very light, it doesn't have the, uh, the, the, the colors uh, as uh, we used to, and still it has collection of Beatles oldies, but it lacks the picture on the back, so we don't have the logo of Bud Goldies. So the original number, uh, the original name of this album is a collection of Beatles oldies but goldies. Yugoslavian is the hits of Beatles but goldies, and the East German name is a collection of Beatles oldies without but goldies. So they kind of played with it a lot. So here on the back we have a boring text, a boring uh, back cover without any pictures, without anything interesting, but you know. It's good that people in East Germany got at least something. <laughs> okay, and let's look at the original inner sleeve. And this is the original inner sleeve. And this is the Amiga label on purple Amiga label. Stereo and this kind of uh, interesting uh, design because here we have AVA. This is the right society of East German. Uh, uh, vinyls and this is the Amiga the name of the label this is the uh, speed catalog number here we have the track listing and here we see the name of the authors all songs are written by John Lennon and Paul McCartney except uh, song number two by Williams okay so uh, this is the unique East German cover okay so Let's talk about the sounds. I'm not going to compare these songs, since it's a compilation, I'm not going to compare these songs to the original songs on the original albums, because that would be much more complicated. I'm talking only about this compilation and the difference among my seven copies. Which of the seven I like the most? Okay, so let's first of all compare, uh, we'll talk about the UK mono pressing which I am a bit disappointed, actually. And uh, it doesn't have the uh, loudness as I expected to have the mono pressing. It's, uh, the high frequencies are cut, so I was not really not happy with it. I give it maybe 7, maybe 8 out of 10. But, you know, it's centered. But still, if I don't hear that that sharp loudness that I used to, I don't like it. Then I'm going to talk about the UK stereo pressing from 66, which is the best, one of the best. I give it 10 out of 10. This is wonderful sound. Well, it's very loud and very clear. I mean, the sound that I expected. And by the way, I changed my uh, system. I have a new receiver and I have new speakers. So I hear the differences even more. And uh, as usual, the voice coming from the left and the music coming from the right and the basses are okay, high frequencies are okay. Uh, but what I noticed that before each song begins, 
there is a two second very uh, low volume playback of what's gonna be let's say paperback writer before it starts you can hear very very gently paperback and then starts paperback so every song has a little background noise like and the same thing happens on the uk 71 stereo okay so other than that uh, i really like that copy and the uh, sound of stereo uk the first pressing is the best 10 out of 10. then comes yugoslavia 1966. well like i said also the uk mono the yugoslavian mono is also not so loud high frequencies are cut which i didn't like and it's not as sharp and uh, you can hear that the, the sound is a bit subdued and uh, low frequencies are okay you can hear the bass but i didn't like this the, the the loudness i had to put my system on a high volume and still i don't hear the sharp voice uh, sharp uh, frequencies and uh, also what i have to note is that it's very clean copy and still i, I hear significant background noise okay so yugoslavia pressing got seven out of ten now israel is 68 on apple it's mono and stereo both is a bit quite surprise wonderful copy everything's there everything's as it should be loud and clear and no background noise wonderful pressing but mine is a bit old it's used so i give it nine out of ten like I said, UK 71 stereo is also gets gets from me 10 out of 10 because loud and clear, everything's okay, the basses are okay, it's very loud, I had to lower my volume a bit because it hit my ears, but still it has two second playback before each song. If you put the volume very high and you expect that song will hit your ears, before that you can hear two second playback before the song begins of oh, the same what's gonna be also ticket to ride it, the guitar starts doing ding, ding, and then you can hear the same as their uh, original song so that's the playback well i think it's the same metric and the same cut so then japanese uh, well like i said uk 71 stereo gets 10 out of 10. japanese 1973 on toshiba um all good here 10 out of 10 nothing to add everything's great japanese pressing sound wonderful spectacular and the last one uh amiga from east germany 1974 that was a huge surprise that was the huge surprise i didn't expect that this sound will be good or something but when i put the needle on it was my my uh, system was on the maximum it like blew me away so it's wonderful high frequencies are okay basses are okay everything is balanced everything's good you can hear the voice and music and nothing is subdued and it's a clear crystal clear sound wonderful well germany is germany what can you do about it so 10 out of 10 okay so for me it's a bit difficult to choose because i have three copies with 10 out of 10 two stereo copies of a great britain city season 71 well yeah and uh german german copies are always best so i go with 1966 uh, stereo pressing the first issue because first of all it's it's the it's the earliest and it's a first pressing and like i said first pressing variation two but anyway the cover is variation two so uh, and then I, I go with uk 71 and then i go with amiga 74 but i have to say that yugoslavian pressing was a bit disappointing okay so hope it helps and uh, hope you like my video and pay attention to the covers like i showed because that is the uh one of the most important that these covers or yugoslavian cover is the one that makes it unique and also amiga okay so thank you very much for watching that was nice fun video and uh sergeant pepper press review i have like 15 copies or more 17 something like that picture discs columbia colombian uh, south african british german uh, whatever 
it's gonna be a difficult video so um, I try to keep it as short as possible but it's gonna come something like in April or something like that maybe even May I don't know but for now Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next videos and any questions, any comments, anything would be great to, if you, to see your likes, your comments, your subscriptions, whatever you want to do, everything is welcome. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I helped. Bye bye.